So today we are going to continue our painting of Blue Dog. You're going to finish painting. And right here you can kind of see where I painted it. It was a little too wet and the color kind of spread out where I didn't want it to go. I don't care. That looks fine to me. I'm not going to try to fix it. We're going to outline everything with black glue today. So you have a glue bottle that I've mixed black paint with. Sometimes you have to just pick off if the hole, you can't see the hole, you have to pick off the top part. This one I can kind of see the hole. So when you start outlining, start at the top and go slowly because you're not sure how fast the glue is going to come out. Sometimes it comes out fast. And I'm going to go slowly around all of my blue dog. When I need to stop, I just kind of push it down and then go to a different spot. Even the eyes. Every time I go around something with black, it looks brighter. And you notice how it's not a perfectly straight line. The line with the glue is kind of a thick, kind of a bumpy, wiggly line, which looks really, really nice. Even this white part of his nose. All of those parts of Blue Dog, you can see how that just starts to pop that nose right out. It looks so much better when I outline it with the black. Now this takes a little bit of time. I, you notice how I'm going slowly. I'm not going super fast. And I like to start at the top. That way I'm not dragging my arm through my black glue. Because I'm kind of holding my paper down here at the bottom. So once you have it completely finished, This one I haven't finished, but this, these I have finished. And even the background, all these parts to the background, the clouds, you can see how I outlined my clouds, my flowers. I even tried to outline my nose a little bit. If they're really teeny tiny, they're going to be hard to outline, but try to outline them a little bit. Now you notice on this one, sometimes the glue will kind of make a, a puddle. If I press too hard, it makes a puddle. Just let it be. Like I didn't mean to get glue right here or here. It's going to look worse if I try to wipe it up with my finger. So just let that glue kind of spread to where it wants to go. And when it dries, it has this kind of bumpy finish to it. But you can see it looks really, really neat after it dries. All those colors stand out. And then we're finished with Blue Dog. 